Yo, yo, yo. We back again. AFB. This is my series, Accounting for Beginners. Anyways, this is kind of a review. We're in a new semester of school. This is uh, 136 of my classic series. This is the classic series. I'm going to put a over here is the whole the whole entire playlist that so you can see every single video from the accounting for beginners i would look at that i want to go over one of the biggest questions that i get continuously as i've had my videos up for four years it is well because i got i got dc adler right we got dc adler if if this is your first video or you've seen a bunch or a couple you might know this all right, so I got debit, credit, asset, withdraw, or draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. And these are in the normal, or if they're increasing. What I get is, so usually we have, oh, if an asset's increasing, it'll be debited. Now, if an asset is decreasing, people ask, hey, where does it go then? Because I thought an asset's only on the debit side. So this video, we're gonna go over what happens when an account is decreasing. If it is decreasing, you would put it on the opposite side that is DC Adler. So I got two, we got two journal entries to do, and we're gonna, I'm gonna illustrate both, I'm gonna illustrate that with the first one, You've got pay internet expense, I just put internet expense of $200. So you're paying, <clears throat> you're paying someone $200. So you've got cash leaving the business. So you've got an asset leaving the business. So leaving, I guess, a non-normal balance in a negative manner, but you have something leaving, you have an account going down. If you had, if you had $1,000 cash and now you have 200 leaving you're only going to have 800 dollars cash now so you have it in a negative balance or de a decreasing balance so in that case if it was a decreasing balance your asset is going to be a credit if it's in a normal balance here it's a debit but in this case because we're going to have cash leaving leaving the business it's going to be a credit now reversed in this one received five hundred dollars for services rendered so we're getting we're getting cash we're getting cash now again cash is an asset cash is probably the biggest asset but we're getting it we're getting cash so if we're getting the cash that means it's increasing that means you debit it so let me do these let me let's do these two journal entries real quick here all right we're gonna go one now i always say do i always say do the cat i always say do the cash first if you don't know i mean this one is uh, an internet expense and you would know an expense is debiting expenses are like oh an expense or revenue is usually only always going up you don't very very super super rare i would say not, not even going to happen we're going to do the cash first we're gonna make a journal entry. Now with a journal entry, the debit is over on the left and then the credit is staggered over to the right. And that's just how you do a journal entry freehand, which we're gonna do right now. First one, we said, pay internet expense of $200. So like I said, we got cash leaving the business. Cash is an asset. I'd say 90% of journal entries, at least 80% are gonna have cash involved. So if you get that right, if you can know that cash is an asset, if it's increasing, you're going to debit. If it's decreasing, you're going to credit. If you can get that, then you're going to do good on journal entries. You're you're probably going to pass your exam just by just just by knowing this. So I want you to see, and this this goes for all this goes for all of these. If a lot if a liability is increasing, you credit. If it's decreasing, you debit it. It's pretty much a mirrored image. If either an asset withdrawal or an expense are increasing, you debit. If if it's decreasing. You're going to credit it. A withdrawal is a withdrawal. It's not really going to be increased. It's not really going to be uh, decreasing that much. Let's get to these two journal entries here. We'll take. Let's take care of the cash first. Two hundred dollars. We got cash leaving the business. So that's going to be my credit. Cash two hundred dollars. Debits and credits have to equal each other. So we're going to have something else. 
for two hundred dollars over here on the debit. Internet expense. I just put in. I just put in an expense so you wouldn't get. So you're like, oh, what is the internet? It's an expense. You need that to keep your business going. So we're gonna put internet here. Internet expense. So you have an expense. Expense increasing. DC Adler expense increasing. Then you have cash leaving. And that's our credit, because cash is leaving. You have cash leaving, so it's a credit. Now for our second journal entry here. Second journal entry. Received 500 for services rendered. Received $500. $500 cash, you got your $500 cash. We know cash, we just know it, know it, know it, because we've done this so many times. Cash is an asset. Cash is an asset. Over here, DC Adler. Okay, cash is an asset. It's increasing in value, so we're gonna debit it. So we're gonna go cash, $500. Why did we get, why did we get the cash for services rendered? So it'd be revenue. I'll just write down services, services rendered. You know, whatever you do, like, I would do like a tax, tax return. I just try to keep it basic on this one. Services rendered. Services rendered. Now that's going to be a revenue. That's $500. Debits and credits match. This is internet expense as well. An expense. We know ca well, cash is an asset. Cash is an asset. Services rendered. That's going to be a revenue. Really, the main purpose of this, because I, I get this question all the time, is what do I do when like how does that go on like how does how did cash go on the lure side how did cash go on a credit side because you have cash as an asset and goes on the debit side i tend to do a lot of my examples with cash but i get that also um sometimes uh, someone will say hey how did you how did you have a how did you have a liability on the debit side or because you said it's the credit side but Remember all these these six these six boxes here asset withdraw expense liability equity revenue these are in normal balances increasing if they decrease you would flip the side illustrated by these two journal entries how on the first journal entry we have a cash decreasing credited and on the second journal entry we have cash increasing so it's debited we're going to do a balance sheet and income statement real fast here what is the income statement income statements revenue revenue minus expenses so it's right there this is kind of why i like dc adler this is a little late to be saying this but this is why i like dc adler because i like D i like dc separately because it's debit credit and then i like the aid lur but you can use whatever works for you. I like these because it keeps the income statement right here. It keeps the balance sheet right here. It's got withdrawal across from equity, which lessens the equity. Revenue minus expense is the income statement. So we got revenue, 500, uh, an expense of 200. So we've got 500 minus 200, 300, net income and that's the this is the income this would be the income statement this is saying this is the only the only journal entry you have so far let's go with the balance sheet balance sheet is assets equal liabilities plus equity now if you're not understanding this any any of any of this stuff uh please please go back and search my accounting for beginners playlist where i really take i take every like every little small small thing and just break it down I think this is my 136 video, so. Balance sheet, assets equal liabilities plus equity. Cash is an asset of $500. That's what we got, but we spent $200. So we have asset, we have cash of $300. Oh, and this is the balance sheet. We have asset of $300 here. Cash equals, we don't have any liabilities. The equity is the net income. Uh, owner's equity uh, gets, net income gets tagged in to the, net income goes into the owner's equity on the balance sheet. So that's how, that's how, that's how it balances. So you've, you've got uh, no liabilities and the equity is $300 net income. So three hundred dollars equals three hundred dollars. Anyways, I have not I have not made a ba uh, ba uh, basic accounting video, accounting for beginners video in a long, long time. 
probably about six, seven months. And I just wanted to get my juices flowing again. Got a lot of new viewers watching. Uh, it's the start of a new semester. So basically I say keep practicing, keep practicing. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, deuces.